think you could protect yourself from me in that? It's not protection from you. Stop, look, and listen. We are blessed to live in biblical times. These times have been written about for over 2,000 years. These times, when complete, will change our world as we know it now forever. These biblical times begin with God's four seasons. If you have watched our prior videos, you will know that summer was the first of the four seasons. And summer was to bring earthquakes, eruptions, political troubles, and turmoil. And now summer has come to an end. The next season is fall. Again, as covered in our prior videos, a stock market crash begins in October and continues into December as powerful leaders fall and great evil is uncovered at the highest levels of power in America. And before the end of October, the doors close to our old world and earth-changing rains, earthquakes, tsunamis, and floods begin just as in the days of Noah. Again, I repeat, stop what you're doing for a minute. Look at what's going on around you. The Dow's down sharply again today. The president does say, though, that uh, investors are concerned about what the Federal Reserve is doing as far as interest rate hikes go. There have been three so far this year, another one expected before the end of the year. And the president with some harsh words yesterday in Erie, Pennsylvania, for the Fed. Listen here. I think the Fed is uh, making a mistake. They're so tight. But I think the Fed has gone crazy. Brooke Baldwin, go ahead. Tell us what you're seeing. So you can see, you know, home after home, what 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 was a home just flattens. So many of the homes I'm looking at made of wood. And, you know, when you, when you think of the, the, the sheer force of those hurricane winds clocked at 155 miles an hour on the side. So for our viewers, if you're just joining us, you are seeing something remarkable and devastating. Our Brooke Baldwin is over Mexico beach uh, there on the panhandle of Florida for the first time. These are the first images you or any of us are seeing of a community destroyed, a community flattened. Listen to God's witnesses of his secrets. For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Just about every part of your lives have been invigorated by demonic pagan customs, and most of you have no idea. You celebrate my son's birthday on a day that he was not born. Your months of the year are not from me. Your days of the week have been infiltrated by paganism. But what you need to know is America was founded, and your constitution was written with my commandments in mind. I have my heart with America, just as I do Israel. And even though there are many who refuse to follow my son Yeshua, there are more who do. I am so tired of hearing how I am going to destroy America, when in fact my heart has always been with your country. There was a season when I allowed your borders to be attacked because you strayed away. You did not stand up for prayer in school, and you voted in a man who was a liar and deceived the country into believing he was a Christian when he was against my word. You sat back, my people, and let the devil walk right in without a fight. Now you see what has happened because of it, and you are starting to fight back. America belongs to me and anyone who is saying that I'm going to destroy her is speaking from their own anger not my heart I have blessed your country but there are those who look to destroy her when the reset comes remember it will bring revival to many places so it is not to bring your country down but to rise up my army and my people to walk in my kingdom your land is already split by the two sides of beliefs and how there are those who feel they can go against nature and be anything they desire even though they were created by me you think you have the wisdom to be God, but I tell you, you do not. My wrath is coming upon the world, so it is time to stand fast for what is truth. You do not have to be wealthy to be blessed. Remember that. I will give my people what they need to build safe zones, because again, I will say earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, hurricanes, and weather phenomena will take place. Will you follow my spirit or follow the world? Time to wake up and rise up and stand fast for truth. I will tell you again, I am not speaking 
speaking words of destruction to America. I have placed President Trump in the office to help America come back after the reset happens. And he has joined Israel with America, which is symbolic of the Jews and the Gentiles coming together as one in Yeshua. Those who bless Israel will be blessed. Therefore, America will be blessed. And the reset is so America can be blessed again. And the abomination of abortion will stop. And Sodom and Gomorrah will be destroyed. Cities will reap destruction. But my children will rise up during these end times. America will stand beside Israel and protect her. And she is one of the places in the word that will be on my side in this battle that is raging all over the world. Pray, my children, for prayer will change this country and turn her back to me. Rebuke evil and love one another. Your Father who art in heaven. Yeah, you know, uh, the Lord started dealing with military tribunals about a month before Donald Trump got elected. Now, I've written a couple of the prophecies that said one was time was up with those who are corrupt back in 2015. And I wrote another one about President Obama, uh, that he would be ripped and stripped of the presidency. Uh, and people thought that was going to be a um, he was going to be impeached. That's not what that meant. That meant that after he was out of office, he would be charged with treason and he would go to prison. Now, uh, so, I mean, all these things are starting to come to pass that God spoke to us in 2015. So even before Trump, got, uh, Donald Trump got elected, uh, God was speaking to me about the military tribunals. And I know it's like people have a hard time believing some of this stuff. They think, oh, this is never going to happen or this, that, and the other. And, you know, that's that's okay. You know, everybody's at a different faith level. But, you know, the thing is, is that God is moving right now. There are going to be military tribunals. Uh, is that We're, we're going to have probably uh, a rough few months, uh, you know, when this stuff is released. Because there's going to be so much truth come out. People are going to have a hard time accepting these. This is not just about America. That's what people have to understand. This is a global cabal that God is exposing. God's going to take them down, period. And that's why they're kicking and screaming with Kavanaugh, because they know when he's in, that's another marker that they're finished. The military tribunals are coming and these guys are going to be tried for treason. We are the ones that get to see this actually come to pass, that God is going to remove the corruption. He's going to set the spiritually oppressed peoples of the earth free. And that's, we get to witness this. We get to be a part of this. But there's going to be probably a rough few months. So stock up on some food like you would with a hurricane or natural disaster, you know, whatever the case may be, just be prepared. And when we come out of this, the corruption will be, will be removed and we will be a much better place for it. This is all part of God's plan. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word shall be established. We warned you of the coming crash on October 4th. And since the warning, the Dow has crashed over 1,000 points. And as of the date of this video, October 12th, point three is still to come. But it is not point three that we should be concerned with. It is point four into five that change our world forever. The 2018 Great Crash which is points four into five, comes with a world financial reset before the end of this year. Know that unless you are a trader, the dates for points three, four, and five should not be important to you. Just know that the 2018 Great Crash points four into five and the world financial reset occur before the end of the year. However, I tell you this, of all the events you have seen in our world to date this year, you have not seen anything yet. For we live in biblical times. And before the end of October, the doors close to our old world and the days of Noah begin. And the events that come after the doors close will be biblical. Which means, in addition to the world financial reset, expect earth-changing rains, earthquakes, tsunamis, and floods to begin far greater than the events witnessed in Florida and in the markets thus far. And let's not forget, powerful leaders are expected to fall, with great evil being uncovered at the highest levels of power in America. The world financial reset will cause cryptocurrencies and especially God's money, gold and silver, to soar in price as written in Proverbs 13, 22. Then comes the winter season and the doors open to a new golden age, a great grand new era of time, an era of prosperity, abundance, and great rejoicing. Then comes spring in March, 
Spring will bring the greatest harvest of God's Spirit in human history. It will be a season of multiplication. October is here, and the doors to our old world close before month end, forever. Do you have your Ark of Safety ready, which should include silver and or gold, food and water for at least two months, and faith in God the Father and His Son Jesus? Remember Noah, He chose you for a reason. Noah. It begins. May God bless you and your entire family, for God's will shall be done.